CCSD students return to the classroom today. Still, concerns over COVID, of course, are pretty relevant. 8 News Now reporter Sally had a meal live near Eastern and Karen. And Sally, um, some didn't even make it into the classroom today. Yeah, I spoke to several students and teachers and parents who tell me they had mixed feelings about today. Among their biggest concerns, COVID-19 cases rising. But once things for sure, they sure hope they don't return to online learning. Unfortunately, I didn't make it back due to um, a positive COVID test. Kristen Niger is a kindergarten teacher at no Steve worries. Shore Elementary. She was looking forward to going back to school. What I do know from what I'm hearing out in the uh, grapevine is that there are a ton of schools that are missing a ton of staff and it's a complete skeleton crew today. Nigro says it's no secret COVID numbers are on the rise and so she expected the first day to have many people calling out. She became aware through a support CCSD page where educators communicate to one another. And in our school alone, I think I counted like 13 absences today, which is like outrageous. We have so many people covering. We have a counselor covering a kindergarten position today. Like it's just really crazy. Her biggest concern right now, students and teachers getting sick and having to return to online learning. Parent Brian Almero oh, is against it. it out for me. Of course, yes, because uh, because. For me, I, I do believe the in-person class is way better than doing it online. Isela Stellato, a middle school algebra teacher at Leeds STEM Academy, says more than ever, her students need hands-on learning. We already did the, the distance education, so if they were, we were to switch that tomorrow, we would be prepared. Their message to other teachers tonight. Be real with your parents. Let them know. You know, it's tough. They know. It's not a secret. Back out live, one thing that did strike teachers, the number of emails received from parents and students saying they were in close contact with someone who had COVID. For now, reporting live, Sally Jaramillo, live, local now.